Okay. I'm uh, Robert Reinhardt. I'm the managing partner of Grace Laboratories. And what we have is uh, we are, uh, we have the slide ups yet? Um, the major medical problem in contact sports and in the military right now is concussion. Uh, concussions can be mild, moderate, or severe. Moderate and severe concussions are easy to diagnose because there's a there's blood in the brain, and so forth. Uh, a mild concussion, however, is extremely difficult to diagnose because there is no evidence in the brain as far as a cracked skull or blood. Uh, Grace Laboratory has a solution to diagnosing, already has a solution to diagnosing, you got it, uh, this, then peaks, disappears in 72 hours. The blood forms a antibody to that that can be there as long as six months if the brain, as the brain is recovering. We have Grace Laboratories. We are a pilot manufacturing company. We have uh, developed these tests for concussion. Let's see if we can get this. Next. Our, our, the problem is, as I mentioned, is that uh, the concussion problem is major, particularly when someone has a very mild concussion. They're almost impossible to diagnose. Uh, in the high school area, there are about 3.8 million children who play contact sports. They have 62,000 new cases. You get the emergency room to have a baseline test for concussion before they leave. Uh, they have not yet developed a test for this. We think our test will do that. Next. Currently, we have uh, ELISA-based tests that can tell with a simple blood draw if someone has had a concussion. To have a mild concussion, there's no blood, there's no control, but a biomarker appears in the blood that's a peptide uh, from the Ampar receptor. It stays there, it peaks, and then disappears in 72 hours, and the brain forms an antibody to that that can be there as long as six months or longer, depending on how the brain's recovering. Next. What we're doing, we have a clinical lab test. Uh, some people have developed health, but we are going to what we call mobile health. Can you go to the next slide? What we have done is that we have developed, we are in the process of developing a rapid test. In other words, uh, we can find, find out within five minutes, say a player on the field uh, has a hard blow to the head, comes to the sideline, the trainer takes a drop of blood, puts it on a uh, strip, it's in a plastic case, it's lateral flow, the blood flows in about a minute, then he takes a picture of that with his iPhone, that goes cloud reads the color and gets back in uh, five minutes or less. If those of you who watch the Super Bowl game notice that in the second half someone had a concussion, they had to send him to the locker room. When our test becomes available, they would know within five minutes, did he have a concussion or not have a concussion? our patents. Next year we will begin clinical trials, pilot manufacturing. Following year we should be picking up partners, initiation of sales, and by 2018 be in full-scale production. Next. Our competitors uh, basically are uh, very expensive and we can also tell if they're going to have epilepsy. Some of the risks from concussion are epilepsy and stroke. Five percent, excuse me, Eight percent of the people who have a concussion will have a stroke within five years. Next. Our team, obviously I'm there. Those of you in Atlanta may know Bobby Bailey, who's a well-known philanthropist. Uh, John Mullins was a former air surgeon, Georgia National Guard. Dr. Joe Maroon is the team neurosurgeon of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Our chief scientist has a double doctorate in uh, neuroscience, is currently in Europe. We'll be back later this week. Next. Market overview, the markets are quite large and growing, and particularly in the mobile health, we could be looking at a $20 billion market by 2018, of which we should have a three to five billion, five, five billion piece of that. Next. Next. 
we have received a uh, our, a five million dollar grant from Skolkovo. Are we in the process of receiving that? Skolkovo is the Russian equivalent of Silicon Valley, and we will be developing these tests over there and then bring them back to the U.S. It's a little easier to do things in Europe, as a number of you know, and we will eventually be raising more capital as we get farther along in the product. So we're in a position to bring a unique product to the market. Uh, we're right now looking for about a half a million dollars in capital to get us to win the grants fund. Over the next three years, we'll be looking for about another $25 million, which we think we'll be able to get that from grants or for a million dollars in annual revenues. Thank you. We think when we get uh, to the sideline test, it will be less than $10. And Alan, you want to ask me? Yeah, do you have a code yet for it? No. Yeah, well, there's a generic code for these type tests, but we don't have a specific code yet. 